MS PowerPoint 2010 Tables and Charts MS PowerPoint 2010 is a presentation software developed by Microsoft Corporation. It is a popular software because it is a great way to present data through slideshows. PowerPoint helps to create professional-looking electronic slides which can contain text, graphics, tables, charts, images, audio, video, etc. Tables are useful for various tasks such as presenting text and numeric data. You can add tables in MS PowerPoint to present your data. A table is divided vertically into columns and horizontally into rows. The intersection of a row and a column forms a cell. You can create a new table in PowerPoint and can also copy or insert tables from Word or Excel. To insert table in PowerPoint 2010, on any slide, click Table icon on Content Placeholder. Insert Table dialog box appears. Enter the number of rows and columns that you want to add in your table and click on OK button to insert this table in your slide. Or go to the Insert tab and click Table in the Tables group. Drop-down menu will appear. Select any option from the menu. You can add table to your slide using Grid option, Insert Table and Excel Spreadsheet option. You can also draw a table with Draw Table option. Grid option. To insert a table using the grid option, scroll your mouse over the grid that you want in the table and click on the required row and column number. The number of rows and columns that you are selecting will be displayed. Here we selected 5 by 6 table, which means that a table with 5 columns and 6 rows will be inserted. Insert Table Clicking on Insert Table option opens the Insert Table dialog box. Here you can enter the number of columns and rows and then click on OK button to insert the table. Draw Table Draw Table is an interesting method of inserting a table. When you select this option, your mouse pointer changes into a pencil. You can now design a table. It will draw straight lines for you wherever you drag the pencil. The place where the line will be drawn is shown with dotted lines. If you are satisfied with the suggested dotted line, release the mouse and the line will be drawn. Once the table is drawn, you can work with it and design it like any other regular table. Excel Spreadsheet When you select the Excel Spreadsheet option, a spreadsheet with a single sheet is inserted at the current cursor position. You can work on this sheet like you work on a normal worksheet. When the table is deselected, the row and column numbers will not be visible but an outline of a table will appear. You can double-click on the table to bring back the spreadsheet. A table without data is useless. After inserting a table, data can be entered into it. Let us create a table that gives information about the hobbies of five of your friends. For this, we must first insert a blank table in your document and then add data to it. The first step is to insert table using Insert tab. Then enter column and row values to insert a table and then click on OK button to insert the table. Now take your mouse to the first cell and click on it. Add the headings Serial Number, Name and Hobby in the first row. Add the information about your friend's hobbies in the table. Table Tools 
When a table is inserted, two new tabs, Design and Layout are made available to you under the Table Tools tab. You can change style, shade, border and effect of your table using the Design tab of Table Tools. You can use Layout tab to change the basic layout of the table. Table Styles Table style means the look of a table. MS PowerPoint provides you with pre-formatted table styles to assist you in easily formatting your tables. Some table styles can also be formatted as per user requirement. Some of the ways in which a table can be styled include making the header row bold, changing font, font color and font size of the cell contents, using table style, word art style and borders. A list of table styles are made available in the Table Styles group of Design tab. You can see some table styles in the Table Styles group. When you click on the down arrow highlighted in Table Styles group, many more style options become available. Click on any of the styles to apply Table Style to select a table. Shading, Border and Effect Shading, border and effects options are also available in the table styles group of the design tab. Shading is used to color the background behind the selected text of table. Effects are used to add visual effects such as shadows and reflection. Border is used to add border to a table. To add shades to a table. Click the Shading option to shade your table with different colors. After clicking the Shading option, Shading menu will appear. Select any theme color or standard color to your table. Many options are available in the Shading menu such as No Fill, More Fill Colors, Picture, Gradient, Texture, Table Background. Using these options, you can make your table more attractive. To add effects to a table, select Table to add effects. Click the down arrow of Effects option on the Table Tool Design tab. Cell Bevel, Shadow and Reflection are the three main options available in Effects option. Select any of them to your table. To add borders to a cell, Select a cell you want to add border. Click the down arrow of borders option on the table tool design tab. Select a border type to your selected cell. Border will be added to the selected cell. If you want to apply border for whole table, click on all border option. In the layout tab, PowerPoint allows you to change the alignment in a table. Distance of text from the left and right margins is called text alignment. You can change the text alignment in your table. Click the Layout tab and click on Alignment option of Alignment group. Available alignment options in PowerPoint are Align text left. Align text to the left by pressing Ctrl plus L. Align text right. Align text to the right by pressing Ctrl plus R. Center. To align text horizontally in the center, press Ctrl plus E. Align top for aligning text to the top of the cell. Center vertically to vertically center the text. Align bottom for aligning text to the bottom of the cell. A chart allows you to communicate your data graphically on a slide. You can make different types of charts in MS PowerPoint 2010. You can also import or copy charts from Word or Excel. PowerPoint provides 11 chart categories. Column, Line, Pie, Bar, Area, X, Y or Scatter, Stock, Surface, Donut, Bubble and Radar. To create a chart, 
click the chart icon in the illustrations group on the insert tab. This opens the insert chart dialog box. When you choose the type of chart, an Excel window with a sample table opens. The corresponding chart is also inserted on the slide. You can modify the table according to your data and then close the Excel worksheet. To modify the data, right click on the chart and choose Edit Data option from the menu. The worksheet containing data table will open. After inserting the chart, three new tabs will appear on the ribbon. Design, Layout and Format tab. These three tabs are used for modifying chart layout and formatting the chart. To change the type of the chart, select the inserted chart. Click the Change Chart Type command on the Design tab. Change Chart Type dialog box will appear. Select the chart that you want. Click OK button. The chart type will change on the slide. Formatting a chart. To change the chart style, select the chart, then click the Chart Styles group on the Design tab. Many built-in chart styles are available. Select any one of them to your chart. You can also change the layout of your chart by selecting Chart Layouts group on the Design tab. There are a number of chart layouts available in the Chart Layout group of the Design tab. Chart Layout includes the portion of the chart title and legends. To change chart layout, select the chart added in the slide. Click on the More button on Chart Layout group of Design tab. A list of chart layouts will appear. Click on a layout. Your chart layout will change to the selected layout. To change the shape style of the chart, shape style can also be changed as per your requirement. Select the Format tab. Click the down arrow of Shape Styles group. Drop-down menu will appear. Select the style to your chart. You can select any color to your chart by clicking on Shape Fill option. Shape Fill menu will appear. Select any theme color or standard color to your table. You can also change the Shape Fill shape outline and Shape Effect options for enhancing the shapes. Many options are available in the Shape Fill menu such as No Fill, More Fill Colors, Picture, Gradient, Texture. Using these options, you can make your chart more attractive. Change the outline of the chart by selecting Shape Outline option. Weight and Dashes options are available to chart shape outline. You can change the shape effects of the chart by clicking on Shape Effects. Shape Effects menu contains many effects like shadow, glow, soft edges, etc. Similarly, you can also format the text of your chart by selecting the Word Art Styles group. 